Uh, thank you very much, Gordon, for that overly generous uh, introduction. Uh, and thank you for inviting me to be here to this event to mark the first year of delivering ambition and opportunity, Scotland's first ever national strategy for public libraries. Uh, also, thank you to South Lanarkshire Leisure and Culture for hosting us here. It's a, a real pleasure to be at this splendid uh, townhouse in Hamilton. It's a real cultural and community hub. Uh, I understand that this wonderful building includes, fittingly enough, a library which Car Andrew Carnegie opened in 1907. Uh, but as you can see, it's obviously received an award-winning renovation since then. And I'm here today to talk about the important role that I see libraries having in our communities. The Scottish Government places great importance on public libraries and believes everyone should have access to library services. And libraries don't just provide access to reading material, they play a crucial role in providing access to IT, supporting attainment, developing literacy and empowering our communities, all things that are central to the Scottish Government's uh, strategy and purpose. And I supported the development of the library strategy when it was first put to the COSLA Sports, Art and Culture Working Group, which I co-chair, uh, well over two, two years ago. And that's a very good example of national and local government coming together and the response from councillors to say, this is what we wanted, can we work with you um, to make sure that we uh, achieve this strategy. And my thanks go to the Scottish Library Information Council for their wide engagement with the sector through its development and also to Martin Evans from the Carnegie UK Trust for chairing the group that developed the strategy. The strategy received endorsement by COSLA, uh, the Scottish Government and the wider sector. And now here we are, one year on, and there's been a great deal achieved in this first year. But there's much more to say about the role of libraries and a lot to do to ensure that the message about the importance of libraries is heard by the right people. And we all need to be part of realising the potential of public libraries across Scotland. And I recognise that public libraries are the responsibility of local authorities, but I continue to support libraries where I can. Indeed, I believe that this government has put itself on the map when it comes to taking action to supporting our public libraries. Our manifesto uh, made a commitment to continue to support the delivery of the National Library Strategy and support further development of Every Child a Library Member initiative, ensuring that every child received a library card at an early stage of life. And the manifesto also included a commitment to deliver a single library card for all of Scotland, and that was reaffirmed in the recent 2016-17 programme for government. And the Scottish Government has invested more than £2 million since 2015 to support the development and delivery of Scotland's first national public library strategy, which is helping to reinvigorate the role of libraries and encourage people to utilise the varied services they offer. And as announced in the uh, programme for government, we've continued to support public libraries with our public library improvement fund of £450,000. And I recently announced the successful projects that received investment in 2016. And one of those projects is the Edinburgh Libraries um, Edinburgh Explorers project, uh, which I heard about at the launch event at Wester Hales Library. And this type of activity is a real opportunity to show how libraries can champion a new approach to engaging with families and reaching well beyond the conventional role of the library. The Edinburgh Explorers uh, brings together literacy and attainment and cultural activity. So basically during um, the, the Easter break and other breaks, they encourage families to visit cultural venues uh, across Edinburgh. They get their stamp and they get the free entry to the event. They use the visits then to engage with the local library to have reading materials about what they've visited um, and to encourage reading out for pleasure out with school time. So I think that's an exa excellent example of what libraries can do with a small resource. And of course, the Edinburgh Explorers was only one of many innovative library projects which support the aims of the strategy. And it's these innovative um, approaches our libraries have in engaging with our communities. That I'm very proud that this uh, government supports. The Scottish Government supported the Public Library Information Fund um, to encourage that innovation, to showcase how libraries work, to encourage with different people and develop new partnerships. And that's really important this time to showcase everything that you all know, I'm sure, that libraries can deliver. And I want to demonstrate my support to for libraries, and that's why I'm here today. Uh, it's why I launched the new Public Library Improvement Fund projects, and it's why the libraries are in the programme for government. 
and that purpose is to demonstrate um, that we recognise that libraries deliver on our key aims, tackling inequalities and raising attainment. And libraries are vital in delivering on both of these agendas. Public libraries, of course, bring social benefits to people and communities. They offer crucial support to help people to help themselves, to support literacy, digital participation, learning, employability, health, culture and leisure, to improve the quality of people's lives and support them to engage in the democratic process. And the support that libraries give to develop digital skills is a great example of community engagement. Libraries are providing equipment and internet access for those who don't have it, and also training for those who are unsure about how to go about getting online, and particularly working with our older members of our community. That's going to be really important to get that equity in, in, in digital participation. And libraries remove barriers, physical barriers like cost, or even perhaps mental barriers such as concern about who can access public and personal information online. And the Scottish Government's ambition is for every child in Scotland being given the best chance to succeed. And raising attainment is a key priority. So we're committed to tackling inequalities to make Scotland that stronger, fairer and more inclusive society. And good attainment requires working in partnership with pupils and parents and is dependent on key foundations for learning. Good literacy, numeracy and health and well-being. And as part of the Scottish Attainment Challenge, local authorities, schools and teachers are developing and implementing a range of innovative approaches to improve literacy, numeracy and health and well-being. <coughs> Initiatives include the family learning programmes, the outdoor literacy programmes, home link workers, breakfast clubs and professional learning uh, programmes for staff. And libraries have an important role in making these projects as effective as possible and reach those who need support. And we also recognise the significant contribution libraries can make as part of national um, initiatives like Read, Write, Count, which encourages family learning around literacy and numeracy. And of course, the First Minister's Reading Challenge, which is promoting reading for pleasure. Now, we provided resources to libraries at the beginning of the year to help them link up with the Read, Write, Count campaign, a task which libraries have enthusiastically supported. And SLIC has been involved in the development of the Reading Challenge as part of the advisory group, making sure that libraries have been given information that supports them to get involved. Uh, these initiatives are two great opportunities for libraries to be a link between school and the wider community and to take a lead in raising attainment and tackling the inequalities in our society. Uh, it's still early days for the First Minister's Reading Challenge, which was launched just last month, but I would encourage every library to engage with the challenge if you're not already doing so. And it's a great opportunity to promote reading for pleasure, engage with children, families and schools. And the Every Child uh, Library member pilots in 2015 also aim to engage with families and communities to encourage more children to use and enjoy their local library, to enjoy reading for pleasure, helping to give them the best chance in their early years. And the willingness to get involved and trial a variety of pilots across different local authorities really showed libraries in the best light. That willingness to try something new and respond so positively to a challenge. The, and an evaluation of the pilots has been commissioned by SLIC and I look forward to seeing the report and looking at how we can work together to take the pilots on to the next stage. And at the heart of all this is access to reading material. It's vital to encourage children and young people to read without cost being a barrier. And the opportunity to choose what to read is also important. It might not seem uh, like much but when you're a child, there are limited times when you get to choose. So this freedom and the chance to access a wide variety of free reading material can make all the difference in reaching out to someone and making them want to read. And I remember asking my son when he was seven why he liked the libraries. And he said, because I get to choose. And that's independence, resilience at a very early age. And that's something that we need to foster and nurture. Libraries have also played a key role in delivering local events uh, during Book Week Scotland uh, since it was established in 2012. And libraries have a unique position for Book Week as they can bring events to the heart of communities and support local readers in engaging in Book Week Scotland activities and distributing the free books provided by the Scottish Book Trust. And what this demonstrates is that the Scottish Government sees the value in what libraries do. 
the people you can reach and the difference you can make. And as, I, as I've made clear today, we see uh, a role for libraries in closing the attainment uh, gap. And that's a really core part of what we want to achieve. And this is also true in the realm of digital participation. And libraries are in a strong position to provide that access to digital and to break down the barriers that keep people from engaging online and also encouraging digital engagement across the board. Uh, we've made some improvements. You'll see the Scottish Household stu uh, study out yesterday, but particularly in older groups and obviously those uh, living particularly in poverty where they, they access, uh, particularly they can have access but not necessarily be able to utilise uh, digital um, connectivity is still a challenge for Scotland. So digital skills are vital for young people today and libraries are an excellent access point. And Scotland uh, uh, has to have an ambition to become a, a world-class digital nation. And a critical part of this ambition is future-proofed digital infrastructure that will deliver world-class connectivity across all parts of Scotland. And our public wireless partnership from the Scottish Government has pride, provided £700,000 via SLIC to uh, Wi-Fi enable public libraries across Scotland to increase the opportunities to access uh, via smart technology as well as PCs. And 96% of libraries now have Wi-Fi through the efforts of SLIC, local authorities and Scottish Government. And this allows for more digital engagement via libraries than ever before. And in addition, uh, the, uh, the Public Library Improvement Fund has funded digital activities that support developing skills. Library Minecraft clubs uh, and coding clubs have allowed young people to develop their digital skills in areas across Scotland. And SLIC has now secured funding from the Scottish Government Digital Skills Bureau Excellence Partnership to develop computer science related skills in young people across um, the country. And bearing in mind in terms of skills and job opportunities, that's really critical in taking Scotland forward. And SLIC's grant will support the rollout of coding clubs uh, across public libraries in Scotland. And that will give great opportunities to young people to develop skills they can utilise in the future. And I heard the great work that Granton Library has been doing in Edinburgh in helping engage young people and the enthusiasm they had um, for, for making the changes in the lives they had to make. But again, coding and the work uh, through the Granton Library was very much part of that. The government is also providing support to allow a rollout of 3D printers uh, to library services across Scotland. And that investment is worth £76,000 and it's ensuring technology is uh, accessible to everyone. And it's also a testament to the role libraries are playing in our digital world as hubs for innovation and creativity. And I'm absolutely sure people uh, will want to make use of this cutting edge technology. So we're committed to empowering Scots of all ages to be digitally creative in the home, the school, the workplace. And I'm confident that 3D printers uh, will ignite a spark of creativity and inspire an entrepreneurial spirit. And it's a real opportunity for everyone to get a closer look at how this amazing technology works. And going forward, um, as the Cabinet Secretary for Culture, Europe and External Affairs, and I now have the responsibility for tourism, we're also committed to delivering a national culture strategy for Scotland, which will be produced for and with uh, Scotland. The st strategy will establish a high-level framework of agreed aims and objectives with the principles of increased access, equity for all, and pursuit of excellence at its core. And the library strategy also recognises the role of libraries in promoting culture and creativity. And there will be, I'm sure, much uh, in common between the aims set out in our library strategy and the ambition of the culture strategy. And libraries also have strong uh, links with culture and to bring creativity uh, to local communities, making accessible local relevant exhibitions and author events uh, available to communities and increasing cultural engagement. Recent li recently, libraries have played a key role in uh, local World War I uh, commemoration activities across the country because they can focus on their local area and the lives of those living there during the war and commemorating those who lost their lives from that area. And this, again, allows libraries to bring a, a local and more personal aspect to the commemorations. And I'm very pleased that a number of World War I commemorations and projects secured uh, funding support over the last three years. And I also welcome the, the new uh, Public Library Improvement Fund project, Read the Past, Imagine the Future. And that will celebrate the 2017 Year of Heritage, History and Archaeology by encouraging reading throughout Scottish communities and to widen uh, knowledge of local and national history. And if you want to get people passionate about their place, 
as they talk about the building, the heritage, the stories um, of the local community. That's another great way for engagement. And these initiatives are all delivering cultural activity that support cohesive communities and engage people in the narrative of their local area and the community. So I thought I'd share a quote from the late, uh, great Andrew Carnegie, which for me beautifully encapsulates how important it is that we ensure our libraries are supported. A library outranks any other one thing a community can do to benefit its people. It is a never failing spring in the desert. The Scottish Library and Information Council has done an excellent job in promoting libraries and has used the strategies to great effect. For example, signing a strategic partnership with BBC Scotland and public libraries to deliver more information, learning and creative opportunities for people of all ages. And that's a significant achievement and a great opportunity for SLIC and for public libraries. And it's also been working uh, closely with various parts of the Scottish Government to support us in delivering our aims because these aims also represent the essence of modern public library to be inclusive to help people access information or develop skills, to encourage literacy, to support digital inclusion and to deliver at the heart of our communities. So I welcome the commitment that the library sector has shown in delivering the strategy. I do though believe that there are still more opportunities to find new ways of working, uh, creating new partnerships and ventures, exploring new ways to reach out and inspire new audiences in our communities. And as I've said, since the strategy has been in development, the Scottish Government has invested over £2 million in Wi-Fi, the PLIF projects, the 3D printer, printers, mentioned just a few, and it demonstrates our ongoing commitment to libraries. And there are challenging times ahead, I know that, but actually if we have the momentum, the energy, the focus to be able to tell that story and demonstrate the centrality that libraries have to both local authorities and government agendas, I think that puts all of us in a very good place indeed. So uh, SLIC is only one part of the picture. Um, it can share the important work that is done in libraries, but it's also essential that everyone in the library sector keeps up that commitment to delivering on the strategy and also make sure that everyone can see the difference uh, that libraries make. And if you aren't already, I urge you to invite your local MSPs, MPs and councillors to see the quality of the work you're delivering. I never get to cease to be, uh, hear the stories that people remember the libraries as they were, perhaps, 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, it's absolutely essential we get people in, uh, decision makers, to see um, the essence of what libraries are producing in the here and now. So there's no escaping the fact that uh, times are challenging, so you'll have to keep demonstrating the really important work that libraries are doing, which contributes to the health, wealth and success of our communities. I hope I've provided with you with a, 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 good, a good range of examples of how you can take that forward. Libraries are uh, an important part of our communities. They are the communal living rooms of our towns and villages in the modern age. And their offer is universal and democratic. And we should be proud to support them as a cornerstone of our society. So I'll continue to champion the important roles our libraries undertake in our communities. And I call all, all of you to do the same. And let's take Scotland forward in the 21st century to have a strong library partnership. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go back to Parliament uh, for more work. But I really appreciate the chance to be with you and to share my passion and my ambition for the opportunities that our public libraries afford Scotland. Thank you very much.